Our question today is Michael. When leasing medical office space, who does the agent represent? Well, if you're dealing directly with the building and the company that's leasing the building, uh, either they own the building or there's a third party uh, broker that's representing the landlord, they represent the landlord. They do not represent you. Uh, if you want someone to represent yourself, you should engage a tenant rep. Interestingly, you ask about medical space, that's typically the type of tenant that is less prone to get tenant rep advice. Um, normal business tenants, office tenants, almost always get a tenant rep. They understand the value of that. Even uh, law firms that have real estate departments will have a tenant rep involved to help them with the, the uh, negotiation of an office lease. So if you're a medical tenant, I would, rep I would recommend that you get a tenant rep that they're experienced in the medical field. There's uh, brokers like us around the country uh, on our tenant rep stuff. We're mainly around the Atlanta market, but we can get tenant reps for you anywhere. I'd recommend get a tenant rep represents you. And if you don't, just understand that no one involved in the deal represents you. Now, if you say, I'm going to hire an attorney, great, you should. You should have an attorney and a tenant rep. And the attorney can be very helpful, especially if they're familiar with medical and they're, uh, they're familiar with real estate. Enjoy and prosper. Ask Michael Bull is brought to you by Bull Realty, commercial real estate advisors, Excelligent, commercial real estate information, and the Commercial Real Estate Show. To access these companies, as well as additional videos, podcasts, and articles, visit CREshow.com.